إن الشيطان لكم عدو The shaytan is an enemy فاتخذوه عدوا He is an enemy so treat him as an enemy عدو مبين Allah says in another verse He is a clear enemy There is no hiding that fact Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says يُوَسْوِسُ فِي صُدُورِ النَّاسِ Shaytan at times will try to influence your mind and your inner dialogue to invite yourself to haram. And I want you to know that there's a difference between you choosing haram and the shaitan inspiring you and whispering to you to do haram. How do we know the difference? Because not all mistakes is because shaitan influenced you. Most of, if not the vast majority of mistakes we do is because of our own bad habits. So the first type of mistake that's from your own self are the mistakes that you do regularly. So if every morning you miss Fajr, shaitan has nothing to do with it. That's just you. It's just yourself not waking up. It's just you making a decision to not get up when you should. And that becomes important for you to correct. Stop blaming shaitan. Shaitan's like, hey, why do you blame me for everything, right? It's important for us to be careful with that. But the mistakes that are from the shaitan are the ones that are opportunistic. So there you are, you weren't intending to do anything wrong. And all of a sudden your parents say, hey, I'm, uh, we're going to leave you for a... Uh, half an hour, so I'm just going to go to the store. So it's an opportunity and the shaitan comes and says, hey, why don't you do this? Why don't you watch this? Why don't you read this? Why don't you go there? Why don't you hear that? And it's, a, it's something you didn't plan on doing earlier, but the shaitan kind of sparked it and then your soul convinced itself, yeah, 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 I'm going to do it. I can't wait until I get this done or do this or do that. So be careful with the shaitan's opportunities to haram, that he opens a door for you, gives you an invitation, and you're the one who walks through it. Shaitan is going to give a lecture when he's in hellfire with those who are in it. And shaitan will say on that day, فَلَا تَلُومُونِي وَلُومُوا أَنفُسَكُمْ Allah quotes what will be said in the future. Shaitan will say to his people, don't blame me, but blame yourself. مَا أَنَا بِمُسْرِخِكُمْ I didn't make you do anything. وَمَا أَنْتُمْ بِمُسْرِخِي You can't help me today and I can't help you today. This is your fault for what you did. إِلَّا أَنْ دَعَوْتُكُمْ فَاسْتَجَبْتُمْ لِي All I did was give you an invitation. You're the one that walked through the door. You're the one that came and did the haram and chose it yourselves. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from a sinful inner dialogue and from the second danger, from the shaitan being an influence in our life. Know of course that the shaitan is not just a whisperer inside and shaitan does not just simply mean the one who is an unseen uh, evil presence, but Allah tells us in the Quran, shayateen al-ins wal-jinn, that there are shaitan from human beings. It could be your friend. Could be that person who calls you and says, hey, do you want to go out tonight? Let's get in the car, we can go visit there or do this. It could be someone who's in your class who keeps crossing the boundaries because what does the word shaitan mean? The word shata, shata means to go past the place you know you shouldn't, to go into transgression, to go to a place you, everybody said, don't cross that line. The shaitan says, I'm going to go there. No one can stop me. I do what I want. So if you have a friend in your life, if you have someone who lives their life that way, where they feel that there's no rules, no boundaries, nobody can say to me what I want to do, or I'm going to do what I want to do when nobody's looking, that person is a shaitan and you want to limit their influence on you. So you want to limit their texts and their messages and your going outs with them to be careful that the shaitan is not an influence to you in a physical form as a friend or as a human being or as a whisper into the hearts. May Allah protect us from shayateen al-ins wal-jinn. Allahumma ameen.